Hello and welcome to this lecture on the static IP assignment on the WAN link. So as, as we can see now, it's configured as dynamic, which is the DHCP. So the ISP is giving me an IP address in this range. What if I want, what if I want to move to another ISP, which only supports static IP address? How will I change that? So there's two methods to change it. Either you do it right away while the device is online and here is this method or you do it physically on the device so you're connected to a cable and the second method I will show you guys later so first and foremost go to this WAN go to the edit choose manual and then you see all the IP addresses here usually it's the public IP address but this is only for testing I will save that and one good thing is that I noticed with the new versions is that even though you have I have now entered a stati static IP address that is not that, that does not exist in this network my device is still using the backup DHCP which means that the device will be online until they make the switch over so if we verify that we can try to ping it There we can see that the device is still online. Obviously, it's it is uh, complaining on some bad internet connection. That could have something to do with the static IP configuration which I made. So if you go to that how to, you can see here proxy server. It could also have to do with that I am nothing. I'm using not to the public IP address. So this is how we do it. Once you have connected it, or once you have configured this and it is updated, you just disconnect the device and connect it to the other ISP. And then you will have connection directly. So let us move that back and see if we can make this bad internet connection error here disappear all right so now let's try the second method of uh, static ip assignment which is when the device is not connected to the internet so first and foremost take a ethernet cable and plug it into your computer and then on a on a port 1 to 4 of the Meraki MX appliance. Once that's done, I went offline here. So let's check if I can go to that site, which is wired.meraki.com. There. So we have come to this page now. Let me turn off. The Wi-Fi also here. All right. As you see, I got the IP address on this range. Here is the configure. So here you can put your, um, I think it was the serial number. All right. So what I did was I put in the the serial number and then no IP, no password. And that's how we log in. So here we have the different connections. The internet, as you see, by default, it's using the DHCP. We will change that to static. So we'll just pick one here. <clears throat> Let's just use one random IP address here. There. So that is all. Direct connection. Once you have done this, where do we have the save button? There we have it. Save. All right. So now, all you have to do is connect the Meraki MX appliance to your ISP with an internet connection, and then this device will go online with the static IP address provided here. So that's all for these two methods of connection. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.